Hi everybody, I just wanted to create a quick tutorial on how to use uh, the web annotation uh, software hypothesis. So you can see the URL for hypothesis here. It's like the word hypothesis with a dot is. So go to this website or link to it from the course site and then go ahead and scroll down where you can say get started. All right, and then what you're going to do is you can sign up to annotate by creating a free account. So just go ahead and create a free account. You can use any username and password that you want. It's not going to cost you any money. Um, and then what you need to do is you have to install an extension to the browser to make this work. So I recommend using this Chrome extension. It's just a lot easier. If you really want to use another browser, maybe Firefox maybe works okay, but Actually, the, group, the Google Chrome extension probably works the best. So once you've created the account, downloaded the extension, you're ready to start annotating. So I'm going to go over to an article where we can take a look at that. Oops. And here we'll see um, that when you look in your upper right hand corner of your screen, you want to find the uh, hypothesis icon. So you can see this little H here. This, this says there's 27 annotations that are on this page already. Um, if you go to some other place, like the course website here, you can see the little H and there's no annotations. Okay, <clears throat> I can make Hypothesis active or inactive by clicking on it. Now it's inactive. Click on it again. Now it's active. What does it mean for it to be active? Well, let's go back over to this article here because when Hypothesis is active, you'll notice this little carrot along the right. And that little carrot if you click on that, this whole sidebar opens up, and this is where you can see annotations. And so we're going to annotate in the public group. Um, you can create private groups, but for right now, we're just going to work in the public group. When you go over to the article, you'll see that there's places that are highlighted, like this yellow text here. And if I'm in the annotation window and I click on this, I can see that's where the text that was highlighted, for example, if all of your friends believe something, blah, blah, blah. And then this student, uh, Jacqueline, actually wrote a comment here in response. Okay, And so if I go back uh, to uh, the show all four annotations, you can see there's the other student, uh, Clara, made some comment. So <clears throat> when you're annotating, all you need to do is highlight a piece of text. And once you've highlighted it, this little window will come up for annotate or highlight. Just use the annotation. We're not going to use notes or highlights. We're just going to use annotation. And now notice that the text that I highlighted here, while this article lists some basic cognitive biases, I can now write a response of whatever <laughs> I might want to say. This is interesting or something. I'm going to say a little bit more than that. And then go ahead and post to public. Okay, um, I'm just going to cancel this for now. You can also reply to another student's comment. So uh, Clara wrote in response to this cognitive bias about this uh, tendency here to um, believe things or support things you already believe. And she says, I feel like I already do this. And you could hit reply and say, I agree with this. I feel like I do this too. So notice that there's a difference between starting your own annotation and replying to somebody else's annotation. So I'd like you to do a combination of both and that way we can have a discussion about this whole article. Um, so if you want to just hide the sidebar, you can hit that. If you want to hide the, the highlights, you can hit this little eye over here and you won't see all that yellow. But if you leave this open, you'll see places where people have annotated. Want to place right here. You see a place over here. Um, and so <clears throat> go ahead and get going on Hypothesis and start posting some annotations uh, for this article and the other article that I put on the course schedule. And we will talk soon.